Our state health director says the surge we're seeing right now is from people letting their guards down at gatherings with friends and family. Yeah, she said even states with tougher mitigation mandates like California aren't doing any better with this expected post-holiday spike in cases. Political editor Dennis Welch shows us why we're not tapping into a big resource set aside months ago to help our local hospitals. Yeah, and during her weekly press conference, I had a chance to ask her if St. Luke's Hospital will ever be reopened to help relieve some of the stress around our overburdened hospitals and health care system. If you remember back in April, Governor Ducey and Dr. Chris stood in front of the facility that was closed back in 2019 and announced plans to reopen the hospital should the virus overwhelm our health care system. Now, right now, because of the lack of bed space, there are reports that healthcare workers are treating some patients on gurneys inside emergency departments. St. Luke's and its 235 beds remain closed. St. Luke's is always an option if those beds full, but we still have, if those beds fill, sorry, um, but we still, but we still have beds available in our post-acute settings. Now, again, it would take about two weeks to get that uh, uh, building up and running um, if they decided to do so. No plans right now. And since Chris did say that St. Luke's does remain an option, she also said that those images of her and the governor er, 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 earlier last year was not, an, it was not a photo op. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family.